Hello guys, welcome back to another Death Frontier 2 video. My name is Jimmy Shreds and today I'm going to show you my beginner friendly pistol build. I'm going to leave my socials down below in the description, my Twitch where I see uh, Death Frontier 2 and some other games. So let's get it. As always, we are first going to go through the skills, items and full stats and other things. Uh, I just want to let you know that this is completely like for new people, like this is not some kind of an end game build. This is like for new people, for like new players, beginners. Uh, when I was f filming the performance of the this uh, pistol, have in mind there was no weekend event boost, so I recorded the performance yesterday before the this event. So just to let you know, but let's go through the skills. So we have sprinter five, we have pistol expert five, headhunter five, marksman five, quick shot five. Reloading 5, Hunter 5, Looter 5, Toughness 5, Quick Reflexes 5, Armor 5, and Exterminator 5. Sprinter 5, me personally, I love to use Sprint. I was always a Sprinter, I just prefer to be fast. That's the reason I go for Sprint. Sprinter is harder to maintain compared to Jogger. You can use Jogger if you want, or you can have both. I'm really up to you, optional. You know, it's about your playstyle, how do you like it? Pistol Expert 5, because we're using pistols, so obviously we really need it. Headhunter 5, the headshot damage, must. Marksman 5, also advise you to have it. If you have nothing else to spend your skill points, it's really good to have. You will be much more accurate. But if you do not uh, get Marksman 5, it's still playable, but I advise you to have it. Uh, Quickshot 5, it's a must. Attack speed is uh, very, very important for our pistol build reloading five for that ammo capacity and reload speed and walk speed which is very very important for this type of a pistol hunter five for damage versus mutated which is bosses must if you boss hunting looter five for the surge speed the only reason is surge speed you don't have to get this it's not a must but i advise you to get it because you'll have easier time sorry you you'll be doing bosses faster in terms of when you loot the loot spot from the boss and second loot spot you'll save your uh, yourself some time there so I highly advise you to get it if you want it's not a must but i advise you to get it toughness 5 for that extra hp and incoming sun threshold um some enemies will deal quite a lot of damage and if you do not have high incoming damage they they can deal quite a lot of damage so i advise you to get toughness no matter how high your incoming damage is Toughness is really good, and I do say it's a must, actually. Uh, you get also the 25 incoming sun threshold, which helps you the with more HP we have. And depends also on the incoming sun threshold and on the uh, incoming damage. For example, if the enemy hit us, the higher incoming sun threshold is and HP or incoming damage, the less chance of us getting staggered. So we'll be able to take some um, very small hits from like zombies you know like and such things from the bosses you need quite a lot of incoming stun threshold very simple quick reflexes five for the dodge cooldown and incoming stun recovery i always uh i always find myself to get into some kind of sticky situations so this helps me to get out of it i highly advise you to get it as well because i think nobody plays perfectly every day so i do say it's a must but then again it's up to you if you're following my build i highly advise you to go for it Armor 5, so I'm gonna take on that. I do not advise you to have it, and I'll tell you why. Instead of armor, I do definitely go for the survivor. They changed the skill, and now it gives uh, minus 2 incoming damage per each uh, level. So at level 5, you'll have minus 10 incoming damage, which is awesome. I think they really need to rework armor skill, and they need to introduce some kind of repair kits. You can use armors, but this skill, I think, completely is not worth it. Uh, because when you go to the end game buildings and such, the armor breaks so fast. So forget about the armor. In the current uh, state the game is, forget the armor. Do not get it. Get the survivor. And I have Exterminator 5. Instead of Exterminator 5, you can go for the Aim for the Heart, which you can go for. I should have done as well, but I don't know. I went for damage versus infected. I was like, ah, I'll just do it, you know. But I advise you to go for, for the aim for the heart. Or you can really go for exterminator if you want so you can kill those infected zombies really much faster. Uh, and this is the... We got the buff for clan. So now, I'm going to talk about the gear. So this is our helmet, okay? As you can see, we have mutated, noise radius, reload speed, headshot, find unique, and attack speed, okay? I'm going to show you now the gear as well. Gloves, reload speed, headshot, body damage, mutated minimum accuracy, okay? We have Mid Hunter Jacket, which is a free body piece that we got from the uh, the event, Halloween event. No, sorry, it was... Yeah, it was Halloween. From the Halloween event, we're using this backpack. Uh, 
Uh, we got Jeans of Greed, which is a free item that you were able to get uh, press Christmas event. Everybody should have been able to craft one at least. And same for the Boots of Greed, free items. So this this build is pretty much is from many free items. And here we go. This is our pistol, as you can see. Body damage, headshot, attack speed, mutated, infected. As you can see, this weapon has very high headshot damage. That's why it's very good. This it also has a set body damage. And then weapon attack speed is plus 88 the maximum percentages you can get is 90 percent you can get 50 headshot 50 body damage um 90 mutated uh, 90 attack speed and i think it's 45 or 50 mutated in fact it is maximum as you can see 50 i uh, don't quote me mutated i think it's 45 but could be 50 then and this is our static as well fatman streamer from the christmas as well we crafted it so mutated unique item um uh, chance sprint speed sprint duration sprint cooldown and jog speed so let me explain a bit uh you want to build when you do the build you are building around the weapon you want to build around this pistol so when you're building what do you want to focus on the stats your primary stats you should focus on first stats headshot in terms of your uh, in terms of your gloves and helmet okay headshot attack speed uh, sorry headshot mutated reload speed and then the fourth attack speed now you might be like, but why, Jimmy? Why are you saying so? The reason is this is a, for the beginners, for new players, and we're trying to save as much as cash possible per bullet. You, you're not gonna have high, uh, very high uh, DPS, but you will reload very fast. Because when you cannot one clip the boss, if you do not have enough ammo to one clip it or enough damage, you focus on a reload speed. That's how it is. So, headshot, attacks, uh, headshot, mutated, reload speed, force stat, attack speed. If you cannot get uh, attack speed, don't worry. Just those three. Headshot, mutated, reload speed on both gloves. As you can see, this is... I, I, I sniped, this, uh, I sniped uh, this off the market for very cheap. So, I don't remember how, how much it was. Like, this was like, I think, 200, 300k. And this was like, uh, I think, 800k, 700k. Anyways... Uh, and so I'll say, this is not cheap. Trust me, guys. Compared to some items, this is very cheap. And the rest of what we have here is free items. This is free, this is free, this is free, this is free, and this is free. So all you need is kind of 1 million cash for this. Just search for the items, as I said. Uh, don't pay too much. Try to get as cheap as possible with similar stats if you can. But anyways, that's pretty much how and what you want to focus on. I'm going to show you now the performance. As I said, the performance was recorded before um, the weekend event, so it will it's it's not going to perform with that 50 headshot damage. But yeah, I don't want to keep it any longer. I'll, I'll uh, give you all the extra info after that. Enjoy it.
And as you have seen, guys, the performance is just really good. Like, for the items we have and everything, I think it's it's really awesome. I'm going to show you the full stats and talk you, uh, tell you some other things. When it comes, as you can see, it's it's not 75. It's like, uh, I think around 60, something like six. I, I can't remember exact uh, number. It was like around 60 headshot. And what what is the thing about this pistol? This pistol can reach higher DPS than Rowan's blade. <laughs> like that's insane. And but I'll tell you this as the end game weapon for the end game buildings. Uh, I think Ronin is way better in terms of how you can build around it and all the stats. But if you want to save cash for regular boss hunting, I think this weapon can be even used as the end game weapon for regular boss hunting. Like, and I'm, I'm gonna try to do the build uh, for that as well. Now, as you can see, these are our stats, okay? Reload time, 1.24. Uh, if you can get it below one, that's insane. Like, that's awesome. Like, close to one is, like, this is already very good. Below 1.5 is awesome as well. But if you can get it below one, insane. Uh, so these are some other stats, as you can see, body damage, attack speed. We have 142 reload speed. Noise radius, do not worry about that. 166 headshot because of the 50%, so we would have 116. 206 mutated, so have in mind, mutated can be even higher than, than that, if you build it properly. And some other stats as well. 53 incoming damage, oh yeah, so I want to touch on that. When it comes to incoming damage, you definitely want to get at least like 40-something. Because, uh, you know... You might do some mistake, and some bosses will do quite a lot of damage when it comes to regular bosses. And this build is mainly for regular bosses, just to let you know that. Like, I do not advise you to, like, as this build is, to go fight Endgame, like, uh, Kamer and Sun, uh, Ravenvol, uh, Heights Hospital. I do not advise you to do it with, with this. As this is currently, like, I mean, it's a good build, but I, it's, it's not suited for that. It's not made for that. Uh, so definitely want to have 40 and above incoming damage. Incoming stun threshold, you want to get it as high as possible. Unfortunately, we have only 25 and uh, 104 incoming stun recovery. So try to get like on, on your uh, body piece some incoming stun threshold if you can. I I'm going to explain you a bit more about it as well. 79 jog speed, 25 walk speed. So the thing, we are super fast on this build. Like nothing can catch us like the the speed is insane like 79 jog speed that's insane 102 sprint speed that's like very fast you, you really don't i don't know what, what what's gonna catch you with that type of speed like and we have minus four movement speed but when you use energy drink will be plus one that's because of the backpack uh maximum sprint uh maximum sprint cooldown and sprint duration is already quite high in my opinion if if you ask me some other stats find uh we have minus find food and find drink but the issue is only issue here is on the second spot when you loot the boss you'll be finding a lot of uh, ammo there because of 54 fine ammo chance now i'm going to talk about other things so substitute for the items that i have you can go uh as i said something like uh with headshot mutated and reload speed uh here same for the gloves you don't need to have exact same stats the extra is attack speed if you can get body piece Incoming damage, inventory, HP, incoming stun threshold. And then you can go for recovery if you can get. But I advise you to focus on those four stats first that I mentioned. Uh, for the jeans, you really need to have these. So you have some incoming damage. Like, otherwise, it's really hard to get something like this. Like, I mean, you can try to get the substitute, but you're going to pay for it then. It's, it's not going to be very cheap. That's the issue. Then you'll be spending um, some cash. In terms of the boots, I think uh, boots like this are not uh, hard to get. Like in general, with just four uh, mobility stats. The only issue is uh, getting high, really high stats like this. Getting like 20% and above, like that should not be the, the issue. So you can get it for like 200, 300k, probably even less. Depends how lucky you are with the market. And for the Fatman streamer, well, there is really no substitute. If you're really going for this, you must go for some. You must you must use this. Uh, unfortunately, there is no substitute for the set stick. Uh, so did I forget anything else to mention? Uh, okay. Uh, and yeah, in, ter in terms of the attachments. So as you can see, we're using Snow Devil Hunter pouches, which you can buy on the market. Like they are 70, 80k currently. Or you can go for something else, but I advise you to go for that because mutated, infected, and also inventory capacity attachments for the weapon you want to go for 
for the uh, reload speed attachment. So Elite Grip Tape. As much as possible reload speed. Like, don't focus on the uh, anything else. Don't go for the uh, ammo capacity, because as I said, if you're going to build this, build exactly as I am, you won't be able to one-clip all the bosses. So no point to go for the ammo capacity. Just reload speed. Uh, so, let me think. I think I've said everything, mentioned everything. But anyways, let's, let's uh, talk about some other things. It's some extra info. Very cheap to maintain. High damage per hit, and it's new friendly due to very high stun duration plus big damage per bullet. This pistol is just... For free, it's like the best pistol in my opinion currently. In my opinion, depends how you play it. Rolling Blade is for the end game, uh, for the, as I said, Commerce and Ravenwall. For the uh, regular bosses, this pistol is a beast. Now, please make sure you leave your feedback about this type of video. Uh, if it was helpful and what you think also make sure you vote down below in the comments what you want to see next that frontier 2 video you know you can request any type of video i try to deliver and they'll be it guys i'm gonna leave my socials uh, uh down below as i said in the description thank you so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful and i'll see you in another video that frontier 2 till next time till next time guys and if i forgot something i'll put it down in the comments below i'll pin it down peace